cheesy. So I'm sitting there a few hours ago, sitting there in my uh, my my rocking chair, just having a having a good old rock. Rocking chairs are really underrated. You know, you think it's for like old ladies or whatever. No, rocking chairs are pretty pretty awesome. Just gonna say that right there. So I'm in my rocking chair, having a good old rock, getting ready to eat dinner. Just uh, you know, thumbing through my phone, looking at my Twitter, and uh, oh look at that, Nintendo's doing VR, doing VR with the Labo. Okay, so uh, that was a little unexpected. Um, it's always weird whenever anything gets announced via tweet. I don't really understand it. I mean, like, we, we kind of just had a Nintendo Direct. Um, Nintendo seems to want to keep Labo like separate. You know, like they, they originally revealed it in its own thing, completely separate from Nintendo Directs. They were just like, here's the commercial. And then, uh, you know, later they had like the, the vehicle kit got added and they didn't really put that anywhere. I don't know. It's just weird to me that they um, just don't want to attach that to anything else. It, it would be perfectly at home in a Nintendo Direct to reveal the next big Labo project, especially one as weird as this. But they just don't want to. And it's also weird that there's no video. Um, I'm not really sure why. I feel like any of these kinds of things, I don't know, the video really sells it pretty well. I'm not really sure. So it's a little weird that we, we really just have like uh, pictures and stuff. And uh, that's all right. Just just a random Twitter announcement one n evening. We don't even usually get stuff in the evening. We usually get it like, like by the time I wake up in the morning. So also weird. Anyway, so what it is, is kind of exactly what a lot of people have been, uh, Kind of half expecting, you know, or at least uh, speculating could be a thing. I mean, you know, you got your Google Cardboard and all that stuff. Uh, you know, people have been doing this already, making very, very basic kind of simple little things. You like slip your smartphone into two lenses that kind of turn it into a VR device. And that's what this is doing is it's using Labo to put your, you know, you put your switch, just the tablet part into the thing, you got yourself a VR headset. And then of course you've got other doodads and things to do and you know, to turn it into a little VR mini game. Like it really makes sense. And I think, uh, like I said, a lot of people kind of expecting this. It really, it really just made a lot of sense. And I'm glad Nintendo didn't do that thing where they're like, ah, oh, everyone's expecting it. So we can't do it. They kind of were just like, yeah, you know what? It does make sense. <laughs> or or that's why they did it. Cause you know, if they if they think that we're expecting it, that means that we know that they won't do it. So they, never mind. let's not going to that right now. Um, So we've got a good little variety of stuff here. Uh, you know, one is a camera. I don't know, probably taking pictures and stuff. I would imagine. Um, you got a pretty interesting looking one, like where you like put a, like an elephant head on, elephant face. And then you got like the trunk kind of, maybe you're like spraying stuff maybe grabbing stuff, uh, you know, you got your gun, your basic gun, shooting people, Nintendo loves games where you shoot people, um, a bird, the, it, this VR program apparently fulfills the dream that many people have had to have a bird on their face, I know I've been waiting for this moment, and so yeah, there's a good little variety here, and, um, and you know, we don't have a lot of info beyond that, but like you can kind of imagine what it's gonna be. It's gonna be little mini games, just fun little things to do, fun little, yeah, using the motion controls and stuff. Um, and you know what? I can really appreciate what Nintendo has been doing with Labo. Um, it, it seems to me that so far sales have been uh, modest at best. It's kind of what it sounds like. I don't know if there are any official numbers. I know Nintendo has been like, it's okay. <laughs> you know, they kind of give like an unenthusiastic, it's sort of meeting expectations. So definitely hasn't let the world on fire. Said that before. I need to come up with different idioms. Uh, so I can really, pre like a lot of other companies would have seen those early numbers and just been like, all right, toss it in trash. <laughs> it's done. It didn't work. You know what I mean? Um, so I like that they, you know, they came out with the the, the vehicle kit. And then even beyond that, they're sitting there going like, what else can we do with Labo? And the VR thing was just an interesting idea for them to do. And I could just, it almost seems like a passion project at this point. I'm like, I'm, I'm sure they're still trying to uh, just keep it going because that's, uh, I mean, you know, some people are too quick to throw stuff in the trash. Sometimes it just needs time to get out there and, you know, build up an audience. Uh, there are more switches getting into people's hands all the time. And of course, you know, they're introducing all this stuff early on, maybe later in the Switch's life. Uh, prices will go down or something, or they'll get a little more aggressive with the bundles or something, whereas this is like a good little introductory period where they get more per unit, something like that. I don't know, but I love that they're still doing it. They're just like, we're doing it. This is the thing, we're, we're not gonna not do this. We're, we're doing Labo, guys. <laughs> I don't care what any of you say, we're doing Labo. I mean, like it, it's almost like Labo is their little baby right now and they're just, they're just nurturing it. And they're like, we don't care that they call you names. 
<laughs> we love you. And I mean, this is definitely the most interesting thing they've done so far with it. I mean, it's VR. Like, it, that's crazy. Like, they're, they're doing it. Like, Nintendo is doing VR. It just, all of a sudden, in a tweet, there it is, Nintendo and VR. So I don't know, I can really appreciate that. That it's at least like, you know, will it turn into something else? I don't really know, but it's at least the start of something. I'll talk more about that in a bit though. Um, first, you know what I really like about this whole thing? Which is not, it's like the least interesting thing about this whole thing, yet, yet it really stood out to me, was um, there are a lot of kits, like a lot of individual SKUs for this, uh, this thing. Uh, like you can get, there's the, you know, the, the complete kit. You can get all the different VR things all in one, like naturally, and you know, it's probably gonna be 70, 80 bucks, just like the other kits. Uh, but then from there, instead of that, if you just want a couple of them, there are like a bunch of different ones that just come with like one or two. And I think that is really, really smart. Price has been a big barrier to entry with Labo and like Nintendo kind of saw that and they're like, okay, like what if we kind of help people, you know, help ease them into it a little bit better. Um, I don't I don't think any of the other ones have had smaller SKUs like that, right? Like you, you we've had like little sticker kits and stuff, but I think, I feel like for the most part, they've all been giant kits, right? Do your research before you go in the studio, kids. Um, but I just I just think it's really interesting. It's really smart. It is addressing one of the major problems that people have had with Labo, you know? You know, if a kid wants it, that's gonna be 70, 80 bucks, and if they don't have a Switch yet, that's a whole Switch too. Now it's like, oh, hey, like, you know, now just drop a amount of money significantly less than that and pick up like one or two little games to play, which especially makes it easier if you're buying that on top of a Switch. I'm not super likely that a lot of people are going out and being like, yeah, I'm gonna get a Switch and Labo. I mean, like, I like the idea that someone would do that. I don't know. That's not my place to assume one way or the other, whatever. Point is, I really want to try it. <laughs> More so than any of the other Labos so far. I wanna try it out. I am something of a sucker for VR. I mean, I guess I, I can't even really say I'm a sucker for it because I haven't really used it a lot, but like the idea of it is awesome to me. I apparently love immersion more than like anything in the world. Like it is at least right now really, really novel to me. Like I, uh, the first time I ever experienced any of it, I just like went into Best Buy and picked up their dumb little, you know, the little Android one that you just put on your face and it's super low res. And it looks terrible, but I'm still just like, oh my gosh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm in the game. And I just thought it was awesome. And uh, the very first time, well, actually, the only time I've got to actually try real VR so far was at Loxton's house when I went to PAX last year. And, uh, and I played Skyrim. I played it for about a half hour. It was awesome. I felt like I was in the world and I got really, really sick and I had to lie down for about another half hour. Got really motion sick, hoping there's a way to fix that. Point is, I think VR is really cool, and so therefore I am more into trying this one. I mean, like the building is supposed to be the really fun part. Um, I did, funny story, I actually did a, I did buy the variety kit when it came out. I planned on doing a video about it, and I still think I might. I, same with 1-2-Switch. I did 1-2-Switch, I did Labo, and like got it, did it with my friends, like record, like filmed it and stuff, and didn't end up using it. Didn't end up doing a review or anything. Um, I will use it for a later video though. Point is that's, so I have experienced some Labo. I, you know, I've, I've played with them a bit, helped to build and stuff. Um, this one, it's just the actual playing. You know, like the building part, I'm like, oh, I'll get someone else to build it. I just want to play, I, I just want to do the VR thing. Uh, now I know they're not going to be the biggest, coolest games in the world. They're going to be mini games. Like I said, like that's, that's what they're going to be. It's going to be like a fun little, you know, fun little diversion for a little while. And then you don't know what to do with the cardboard when it's time to put it away. Uh, but I definitely want to try. I'm more into trying that than any of the other ones so far. Um, we know, not, try not to be a super negative Nancy here, but we know it's not gonna be super duper great um the thing about like vr is for it to it really needs to be like high resolution display to really look good and i think some people have even said that might have something to do with the emotion sickness or something that might have been why i had such a hard time with skyrim because it was on a ps4 not like a nice high res oculus or something um so this i mean it's probably gonna look like it looks when i go to best buy and do it with the phone you know you, you got a 720 screen 720p screen uh 
split between two eyes, it's probably not gonna look super duper great. But I trust that Nintendo wouldn't have wanted to do it if they couldn't do it in a way that was, you know, good enough, <laughs> comfortable enough. But yeah, I'm not really getting my hopes up, uh, you know, as far as the way that it looks goes. It's gonna be more the experience, the feel, the immersion, more than the uh, cutting edge graphics. So yeah, back to the fact that they're doing it. Um, They're finally doing it. And I just think that's funny. Like the idea of Nintendo doing VR was just always a thing, especially when the game industry started getting into VR. It's just like, it's kind of only a matter of time, or at least it's just an interesting idea of Nintendo doing it. And it's just like, here it is. One random tweet in the night says, Nintendo's doing VR. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it is just for Labo. Um, I honestly, this is just like a hunch. This is just a gut feeling. But I can't see VR becoming a thing for Nintendo beyond Labo, like, anytime soon. I, like, I just don't see it happening. I mean, like, they could do whatever they want. Like, they could do, you know, they could give you the headset and be like, this is a VR Mario or a VR Metroid. Like, they could, they could do absolutely anything. Um, just my guess is that they won't. At least not for the Switch's life. I think it's just gonna be Labo. Like, I think they, they see the fun, the uh, novelty, of VR and they're probably just gonna want to like when they see that they probably just see like they see mini games You know, they're like oh the idea of being there and having the motion controllers and stuff I think they just see mini games in that I, I don't know if they're looking at full applications and full real games uh, Just a hunch I could be totally wrong if they were gonna do full VR I feel like they'd at least wait to like the switch 2 or whatever higher resolution screen and all that um, But I don't really know we really can't know. That's kind of just my guess. But hey, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out, you know, now that Nintendo has broken the VR ice. It is broken. It is broken forever. Nintendo has done VR, or will do VR in April or whatever. And uh, I just think that's interesting. Worth doing a whole video over, especially here at night, like an hour after the news dropped. You bet your bottom. You bet your bottom it was worth it. Because if I find myself talking my friends and my roommates ears off about a thing, I go, you know what? I might as well just turn on the microphone and <laughs> talk into the microphone. So there you go. You guys have a great day. I love you. And while I'm doing a topical video, I'm doing Arlo Plays. Go check out my Arlo Plays. I got a full announcement coming at the beginning of a video that'll come later. But right now, I'm just telling you, I'm doing Arlo Plays again. So go to youtube.com slash C slash Arlo Plays. I'm doing Wind Waker. I'll do Pikmin 3 next. Also, Midwest Gaming Classic, Too Many Games, and Portland Retro Gaming Expo are all things that I'm going to. Just cramming all the topical stuff into this here because it's just a very topical video. So I might as well just jam it all in there. Those are the three conventions I'm going to. Look them up for more info. Arla plays. Go do that. I love you. Eat a sandwich. Bye.